Well, the violence has raised questions about how best to deal with rioting and disorder on our streets. I'm joined now from Lincoln. Um, no, we've just spoken to Patrick Mercer. I'm now joined by Darkus Howe, who is a writer and broadcaster. And we can speak to him now. And Marcus Dow is in Croydon. Marcus Dow, are you shocked by what you've seen there last night? No, not at all. I have been living in London for 50 years. There are so many different moods and moments. But what I was certain about, listening to my grandson and my son, is that something very, very serious was going to take place in this country. Our political leaders had no idea. The police had no idea. But if you looked at, at, at young blacks and young whites with a discerning eye, and a careful hearing. They have been telling us, and we would not listen, that what is happening in this country to them Mr. Is Howe, if I can and just, if I can just stop you, Mr. Howe, for a moment. You're not, you say you're not shocked. Does this mean that you condone what happened in your community last night? I condone, if I, of course not. What I'm going to condone it for, what I am not, what I'm concerned about more than anything else, there is a young man called Mark Duggan. He has parents, he has brothers, he has sisters, and few yards away from him, where he lives, a police officer blew his head off. Well, Mr. Howe, we have to... Blew his head off with a... Let me finish. Mr. Howe, we, we have to wait and for I the official inquiry before we can say things like that. We don't know what happened to Mr. Duggan. We are going to wait for the police report on it. I, if I can I, take I, you I on a little bit. Uh, you were talking Duggan about your grandson. Dead. You were talking about you young people. You were talking about your grandson. You were talking... Young people. Uh, they, they have been stopping and searching young blacks for no reason at all. I have a grandson, he's an angel, and he began to think he was coming at age when the police slapped him up against the wall and searched him, and he thought he had now had a gold star. I asked him the other day, apropos of a sense that something was going seriously wrong in this country. I said, how many times have the police searched you? He said, Papa, I can't count there so many times. Mr. Howe, that may I well have happened, and if you say it did, I, I'm, I am not to gainsay you, but that is, well that, is, that, is no, that is not an excuse to go out rioting and cause the sort of damage that we have been seeing over the last few days. Where were you in 1981 in Brixton? Mr. They had a, I don't call it writing, I call it an insurrection of the masses of the people. It is happening in Syria, it is happening in uh, Clapham, it's happening in Liverpool, it's happening in Port of Spain, Trinidad, and that is the nature of the historical moment. Mr. Howe, if uh, I... Th there is a, it takes... Mr. Howe, if I can I'm just listening. ask you, you are not a stranger to riots yourself, I understand, are you? You have taken part in them yourself. I'm not as... I have never taken part in a single riot. I've been on demonstrations that ended up in a conflict and have some respect for an old West Indian Negro and stop accusing me of being a rioter. Because I, you won't tickle me to get abusive. You just sound idiotic. Have Do some respect. Dr. How grandchildren... Thank you very much for joining us from Croydon. Darkest Howe, their writer and broadcaster.